Well, we are just a couple of weeks away from All Eyes on Boulder. The Boulder International Film Fest brings films and filmmakers from around the world to our state. And it all started 19 years ago with a bond between sisters. So we have them on our show today. These are co-founders Kathy and Robin Beek. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. your time. Thank you. So this is so exciting. We'll start with Robin. So tell us about the Film Fest and what's new this year. Well, the Film Festival is actually March 2nd through the 5th, and we've right. got an incredible program, a great opening night film called Immediate Family, about a session band and all the greatest music that we all know and love, and it's just going to be a wonderful evening. Mm -hmm. Then our closing night is a film called Still Working 9 to 5. It's a documentary about the old 1980 classic film 9 to 5 mm. with Dolly, Lily, and Jane Fonda, okay. and it yeah. is such a funny, wonderful film. And it's about uh, women's rights and how that's really changed a lot and, and how we have a lot more work to do. Mm. And it's just funny <laughs> also. We oh, love it. Okay. We're also doing virtual after the festival this year, uh, which is a little different. Yeah. And we've got a lot of the films that are going to be available to watch online after the festival. That's amazing. You guys just keep growing and doing more things. Like you were saying, with the pandemic, you kind of had to alter some things as yes. well. So um, there's lots of events. Um, like we were just saying, Kathy, what are you most looking forward to this year? Well, one of my favorite events is something we call Cine Chef, And we bring eight chefs in, and they prepare dishes based on a movie theme. And then it's a competition, so people come in and taste all the wonderful food, mm -hmm. and they vote on their favorite. But we also have some other films that I'm really looking forward to. A film called It Ain't Over about Yogi Berra. I mean, I didn't know mm. anything about Yogi Berra. This is a fabulous movie. He was the only catcher to catch a perfect World Series game. And, wow. and it's all about him and his integrity. And we have a film called Judy Bloom Forever, Judy Bloom Forever about the author, mm -hmm. Judy Bloom, who was a young adult um, author and yeah. she just really helped so many people to discover themselves and to understand themselves yeah. better so I'm really looking forward to that one and we also have one called if you like period pieces and this is one of my favorites Chevalier and it's a film about a 16th century black composer who mm. worked his way up through the ranks of the French court and it's just about his trials and tribulations and it is fascinating a wonderful mm. period piece those are some of the things I'm really looking forward to this year definitely enticing. I, I, I want to go check it out here yeah. all of these, yeah. these amazing synopsis. So um, the Adventure Film Festival or Pavilion is something that you guys get excited about. Um, can you tell us more about that, Kathy? Yes, as well? this is a festival within a festival. It's adventure films. Boulder is an adventure community and so is Colorado as mm -hmm. a whole. So we gather all the best um, adventure films that are out there and whether they're shorts or features, they are fantastic stories. One is called Ride a Brutal Fairy Tale and it's about BMX bike racing. Oh. Who knew anything about that? I didn't, but this is a wonderful story. It's a love story between two people and their world champion BMX racers and tragedy that happens, but it's still inspiring and uplifting. And they're coming, the two um, racers, Elise and Sam Willoughby. So oh. they're going to be here at the festival. Okay. We have local films, too. Uh, we have a film called... Pasang in the Shadow of Everest, and it's about the first Tibetan woman to summit Mount Everest, mm. and that is a local filmmaker from Evergreen. Uh, she's an executive producer, Allison Levine, and she'll be at the festival as well, and she's also summited Mount Everest, so that is exciting, <laughs> and, and all kinds of other Incredible. wonderful films, too, at that. So much to check out. Well, thank you, ladies, so much for being here, and remember, you can learn more right now on CBSColorado.com, including how to get tickets. Karen. Oh, 